Mmm. Y'all, it is hot out here. Be sure to drink plenty of fluids when it's this hot out. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. you all doing good what are we doing today today we are going to be putting an awning on the old shipping container so it's a mess back here I've got uh, working on the uh, working on the uh, outdoor grilling area for the shipping container right so we got our tiki bar right here so this awning is going to cover the tiki bar and the grilling station is going to go over here okay so what are we putting over the top here's what we got this right here is a aluminum top for a pontoon boat. It is roughly 16 feet long by eight foot wide. Uh, I got this from the father-in-law. He uh, a while back purchased a used pontoon boat and this come off of it and he's not gonna use it so I am going to take over it and it is going to be the awning over my grilling station slash tiki bar. Okay, we are going to mount this to the top of the shipping container. Uh, I've got four angle brackets and I'm going to weld those, space them out evenly. I'm going to weld those at the top at a slight angle to the shop, top of the shipping container. That's gonna be the start. That's what's gonna hold it to the shipping container and then we'll probably have poles come down into the ground to hold it on the other side. I picked a hot enough day to do this. I think it's supposed to get up to like 96 today. And we're gonna be welding outside with hot pants because I don't wanna burn myself. Let's do this. Weld her down. Alright folks, right at this very moment, this thing is super sketch. So I got those brackets welded in. Uh, I primered over them, put some paint over them so they won't rust. Uh, right now this thing, I had to have help to get this up. The uh, mom and some kids to get this on the brackets and then up. And then it's all it's supported by right now is these super sketchy two by fours. So I need to get some bolts in those angles, that angle bracket. I'll feel a little bit better about the situation. So I'm going to do that next.
here's where we're at. Let's see if I can get this on camera. I got two poles in. They're not in in. So these I made about nine foot long. Nine foot long from the very bottom to the top. The holes are 18 inches deep. Holes are 18 inches deep. And then I put some gravel at the bottom of them. We are going to pour some concrete cement down in there. Let me see if I can get my brackets welded these brackets up top. Another one over there. All right. So for right now I did two poles. That's probably all I'm gonna do is two poles. But what I'm probably gonna do is build a weld and a brace from here over to here and then do some uh, piping up to these other inside braces. All right, and that should be nice and stable. So right now we're gonna pour some semen in there. Oh, it is so hot out here. All right, folks, that is all she wrote for this weekend. This is all I'm gonna do this weekend. I might come back, like I said, I'll probably put some braces on the inside, on the middle, just to help support it during any wind storms. Don't want this thing at the neighbor's house. Okay, that's what she looks like. We're getting there. We'll have a uh, grill table, about an eight foot long table with the grill set up in there. Maybe do work on that next weekend or something. But that is it for this weekend. Like I said, Stay hydrated. It is hot out there. Very hot. Makes me wish I could cut this long hair off because it is burning up. I'd like to thank my sister in Kansas for that.